The National Assembly has proposed that the government take serious action to prevent losses of revenue from the export of wood and mineral ores, as the nation relies heavily on natural resources as a source of revenue. According to Dr. Kikyao Kai Kampitun, there had been a considerable failure in financial discipline as the lots of timber was exported but little revenue was received. NA member for Vientiane, Professor Dr. Gigel Kai Kampitun, made the suggestion when debating the government's national socio-economic development plan at the ongoing ordinary NA session. He reminded the assembly members about a case when a number of huge logs disappeared from a stockpile one night, saying it was impossible that nobody saw the convoy leaving with the massive trees on board. He stated there has been a considerable failure in financial discipline as lots of timber was exported but little revenue was received. Dr. Kikeo Kai Kampitun said saying it was not timber planking and they could hardly have been small trucks so why didn't anybody realize there was no government action in this regard? <laughs> A report from the Ministry of Finance shows that the government received 55 billion kip from wood exports over the past six months of this financial year, which was only 36% of the annual planned target. The Ministry confessed that widespread illegal logging continues and there is widespread leakage of revenue from the export of timber and minerals. The NA member said that, despite the fact several government bodies have obligations to deal with the issue, the Ministry of Finance is at the forefront in preventing the losses and commented that financial discipline should be stricter. Aside from the tough action to prevent the losses, Dr. Kikeo also proposed that the government should establish stable sources of revenue for the state budget as it is believed the natural resources the nation is relying on will be depleted in the near future. Dr. Kikeo said the actual issue the government should resolve is the establishment of revenue sources other than the sale of diminishing natural resources, finding stable and sustainable ones. In his estimates, the two huge sources of minerals will soon be exhausted, Pubia may be depleted in the next 10 years and Sepon in the next 20 years. <laughs>